In this video we'll discuss how you can use Action JavaScript to add a toggle animation to any arbitrary container or div in a component and this would apply to both a dialog component and also a grid component. In this case here we're looking at a dialog component and you can see here I've got a, a button um, and I've got a div over here with some text in it and when I press this button we're going to just toggle the visibility of that button and in this case here I've got um, a repeating section and I've put that repeating section inside a container and when I click this button over here you can see we toggle the visibility of that whole container so let's go and see now how easy it was to actually do this so we'll go back to design view and go to the list of the controls and here's our first button which says toggle a div and uh, before we do that let's actually look at the static text over here so you can see that the static text contains a div called div1 with some text inside it so um, now let's go to this um, button over here and open up um, action javascript and you can see there's a new action here called toggle visibility of a container or div with animation so if we uh, go there and say add action we can see that action listed in the list of available actions so let's go ahead here and say edit and the object type is a div uh, uh, it could also be a container so we'll just choose div uh, the object ID is div1 and now we can choose our animation uh, method so this is the animation to show the object so the, for example there's slide we could choose say fold and we could make it um, uh, slower than that so there we go and then now this is the uh, hide animation so let's go and change it from slide into say uh, puff and go ahead there click OK go there switch to working preview and you can see that the animation style has been changed so now let's go to this button over here and first before we do that we can see here that basically everything from there to there has been put inside a container and that container has an ID of container under bar 2 so if we go there and then look at our action you can see there it's um, the object type is a container the container ID is that and then just like we did for the other object we can choose the animation style so we'll go there and we'll choose uh, fold and we'll make it slower and then for the uh, hide we'll go there and we'll choose uh, let's go and choose say puff and we'll make that uh, quite slow so let's save that now and go to working preview and then hit toggle a container so you can see it basically very slowly um, animating out of view and then animating in view so now everything that I've done here applies equally well to the uh, grid component so let's take a look at that now so you can see here we've uh, got a grid component now and in the detail view we've wrapped a bunch of fields now in a uh, container and uh, if we look at the uh, properties we can see that the container ID is DV container 1 and if we go to this button over here and uh, edit the action you can see that we're hiding a uh, container and uh, the, from the pick list we can choose the container ID over there so now let's uh, save that go to uh, working preview now and uh, click the button and you can see that we've basically hidden uh, an arbitrary uh, container in the detail view so uh, I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much.